No hang-ups. Hi, John here. It's such a beautiful day. I'm out by the pool, sipping a tall, cool one. A bunch of my friends wanted me to go running with them, but I'm a terrible jogger. The ice flies out of my drink. Beep. Welcome back to Sassy Granny Vlogs. Hello, everybody. So, this is Monday. And it's it was 11.57 last time I looked at the clock, which was just a few minutes ago. So, it's probably a little after 12 by now. Noon time, lunch time. Um, Darcy's laying down here on the floor by Granny. Yes, him is. Me and the hubby had a doctor's appointment this morning, so we had to jump up and get ready and go to that real quick. And, um, we took Darcy by the shop to hang out with Uncle Benny while we did that. And, um, just a routine checkup thing, you know. And then we came back and got Darcy, and he brought me and Darcy back home. So I fixed Darcy's breakfast, and I fixed my breakfast, so we've had our breakfast, took my medicine, Papa went back to work, but he's going to come back in a little bit and get Mr. Darcy and take him to work with him for the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to give y'all a little update. I'll tell y'all what's been going on around here with me and what I've been doing. Well, I have not had my mind. I do this. When I come across something new... I do this. I can't think about nothing else but the new ideal that's popped in my head. Or whatever the case may be. Well, this case was that savings challenge game that I did a video on and tried my best to explain it to y'all. And I think that I'm explaining it very well in detail. Like simple, simple detail that anybody should understand. But I do it so simple that it confuses people and they don't know what I'm talking about. So I've had several texts saying that you're lost, you're confused, you don't understand it, it seems confusing. I'm so sorry about that. So as I said on the thing, I'm not going to do it on video like they do it in that community. So the name of the community... um the game that's going around, the challenge that's going around is called Mini, that's M-I-N-I, -I, Mondays, that's because they all do it every Monday, Savings Challenge, Mini Mondays Savings Challenge. So if y'all want to learn more about this and get a better tutorial, if that's what you want to call it, of it, than what I gave, please go on YouTube and search for Mini Monday Savings Challenges, and they will a slew of videos come up for y'all to watch. Now, I have come across one lady, and she is the one that, to me, seems to be better at explaining things in detail for you to understand better. It helped me to understand better. And there was even a, I had even gotten a comment because under one video, I had asked, you know, can someone explain this better? Can you lead me to the first person that started this? Well, this lady answered me back and said that the first one that, she gave me the name of the person that was the first one that done it. And now I cannot remember her exact name. I'm so sorry. But she said she had started it a year ago. So that's like way, way back. But um, she said that what she done was when she found this other lady, who I can remember, and I have subbed to all of these people, um, Champagne's Corner is the name of her channel. And that's her name, Champagne. And to me, that's odd for a person's name, but yet in a way, it's kind of cute and unique too, you know. But her channel name is Champagne's Corner, and she did a 
great job at, at explaining it. It helped me to understand it a lot better. And that lady that had wrote me, telling me about her, she says that she binged watched her videos because she does a great job at explaining detail to detail how it works and what to do. So go put in Champagne's Corner Mini Monday Savings Challenge and you'll find the videos you need to watch to learn more about this. But I've got mine all set up and fixed up. It's all right here. I got my little games fixed up. And like I said, I'm not gonna do mine um, here like they are. Cause I'm just still, well, one thing, I don't wanna show my money on for the world to see. I'm sorry, call me crazy, but that's just how I am. But, and I'm just afraid that I'm, I wouldn't do it justice, just like what they're doing. Because I may have changed some things up just to suit me and my purposes. And, you know, I just, I don't want to mess their community thing they got going. Because everybody else is doing it kind of the same, you know. And, and I may not be. But I am using their, you know, thing and, and you know, saving for things I need to save for and all this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I don't work. They all probably do work, and they t help take care of the bills or whatever. Or the ladies in the homes take care of their bills and their money. I don't. My husband does. And so I get money from him, and I get a little check from my dad. And so I put money back and save money from that and use that. And that's what I'm going to use here for this. So um, I'm not going to do mine online. I mean, you know, on video like this. But I am going to do it, and I'm going to do it every Monday, and I have just got through doing it. This was my first time to do it. It was fun, and I am happy about it. I'm so excited about it, and I just wanted to share that much of it with y'all. And also tell y'all how to find the better videos to watch to learn more about it better than what I could give y'all, and I'm so sorry about that. But during all this time, with my mind wrapped around this and just thinking about this and getting it prepared because, you know, just I had a lot to do to prepare for it. So, um, you know, I've just been thinking this and I couldn't do any crafting of any kind, any sort or nothing, whatever. Anyway, so now that I'm through with that, I'm going to take a break and just watch some videos. It's lunchtime anyway, so I've got to go eat and then i got to do some chores too. And then maybe I can get back to crafting again. I've still got to get, I know that I had, in one video a while back, I'd said I was moving on to my clay for the C of my ABC challenge, um, crafting challenge. And I, I hadn't made a charm yet with clay. <laughs> because I had found this and then bam, that was it. That's all I could think of. <laughs> So, I need to get back to my clay making charms. And also, this week's Artisan Journal Prompt 2024 from Patty, Life with Patty. Um, the prompt for that this week is music. So, I have a little idea on that. I have one thing of music that I know I can use. After that, I have no earthly idea what I'm going to do, but... I'll try to figure it out. <laughs> so I'll be working on that as well. And hopefully a few other things that I have put back for so long and I want to get to it. So I'll be trying to do that. And I just wanted to come on and give y'all a little update and let y'all know all of that. And so I'm going to go now and let you go and... We'll see y'all in the next clip, whatever that may be. <laughs> All right, guys. See y'all later. Bye. Toots until then. Okay, guys. Um, This is to show my artisan journal page that I made for this week. This is for the hashtag... Uh, Artisan Journal Prompt 2024 by Life with Patty, who is Patty here on 
um, I did that wrong. Patty's her name. Life with Patty is her YouTube channel. Sorry. She's the host of this. Every Sunday, she gives us a new prompt to do for that week. So, this week's prompt was music. And I immediately thought of my piano paper that I have. I wanted to use that. Okay, but then... I realized, well, that's all I have music-wise. I have nothing else. So I didn't really know what I was going to do. But then later it popped in my mind what to do. And I thought, well, I'll just glue it down on there, the music paper, piano paper, I mean. And then I'll just, with my different colored gel pens, I will, not all of them, of course, just a few colors, I will write down all the songs that I like and can think of, know the name of, now, the way some of these are wrote down, it may not even be the exact name of the song. It just may be a part in the song that I can remember, recall, and that I liked about it. So, I just went with that and wrote that down, too. So, I'm going to show y'all my page. Are you ready? By the way, anybody, this is an open collab. Anybody can join this. Just, uh... Do your, you can pick up and try to catch up with us if you want to. It's for all year long. So we started in January and this is May. So you can do that and play catch up or you can just pick up where we're at right now and start there. All Patty asks is that you do make your first page for, that we did on the first week, the introductory page of your journal. Okay, and you just put in that hashtag, hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 and you'll find everybody's videos where they've been showing these all right here is my page so i just did a one page this time and this is the piano paper if you'll notice see the lines in it how they're cut out so i just did that now my songs are the b-i-b-l-e it's my desire Jesus Loves Me, Elvira, Love Me Tender. Now, this one I am not going to know how to pronounce, but this is how I say it, Guadalajara, Elvis Presley. This, he is, you know, all of these songs right here, that one, that one, and this one. You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. Um, Grease Lightning, Footloose, Heaven City Limits, Over the Rainbow, Charlie Brown, it's too late for me now. One, 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 one way to God. So that's all my songs that I could come up with and wrote them all over in my different colored gel pen markers. Hope y'all enjoy it. I want to add right here real quick light. My air does seem to be blowing. I hear it anyway. But my bell is not tinkling very much loud right now. But I had a new commenter that actually does this journal and she found my um, video where I did one and she hadn't known, you know, hadn't seen any of mine before. And she heard this bell and she asked me in the comment that she was uh, confused by the bell and what was it. So I had explained it to her. And so here it is. That's my air vent, my heat vent. And I have two wind chimes there. And it's tinkling a very little bit right now. But sometimes it tinkles louder than that. Okay, see, you heard it there. But it's moving very lightly. But that's what that was. Just thought I would add that in there for you to see. Know what I was talking about, my bird. This one right here, my daughter brought back to me from uh, Mexico. Um, it's a sea worm when she went on vacation one time on a cruise ship and they stopped there. Um, is it the Cayman Islands? Is that what it's called? I thought it was something different. Anyway, that's that one. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Toots until then. Okay, guys, this is... Uh, Tuesday, and it's probably get pretty close to lunchtime now. So I've been in my craft room working. Darcy's laying over there taking a nap. Papa's gonna come get him a little bit and take him to work with him. Okay. Um. All right. 
I have gotten back to my hashtag open collab ABC crafting and I'm in my C's so I have been playing with a little bit of clay this morning now I only have a little bit of clay I only have three different colors a white a red and a yellow so the things I've made is not really the right kind of color to be honest and um I've made some charms, although they're not finished. I still got to put the things in the holes. I don't know if I need to wait till they harden first and then put the little hook things in the holes or do that first and then let it harden with them in there. Some of the videos I've seen when it was clay, you had to bake in the oven. They'd bake, make the holes and then they'd bake it in the oven and then afterwards they would screw in the little hook things in it. Um, but anyway, now, my charms, this is basically my first time, y'all. So, <laughs> they're not the best, they're not the prettiest, but let's say we can call them whimsical charms, clay charms. And size-wise, oh my lord. I gotta work on making really, really tiny, small things, because I can't do it. This here is like... This ain't charms. This is just, I don't know. It's big, and I can't help it. I don't know how to make them smaller. It's hard, you know, when you're not used to doing stuff like this. And like I said, the colors don't really work or match good. And so, they don't really... <sighs> one thing, you know, things don't match up in size for the one item. You know what I mean? have to do two halves and stuff and just I don't know and I got to learn how to work at it and when I'm adding something to it like eyes or whatever not squish the other shape I've got fixed trying to put the eyes on and all that or work on knowing how to get the shape fixed back right and just all this kind of stuff you know it's just hard so y'all uh give me a break you know, I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, I'm going to show y'all what I have made. So, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> so, first off, I made these. Now, this one here, it's a solid red. So, you can barely see the twirl in it. But these are supposed to be like, you know, the sucker, the lollipop top tops. So, I do have holes in them. To put a toothpick for a little stick or whatever um, but then I put red and white together trying to make the you know like they do then I made a couple of macaroons macarons however you call them oh that's getting stuck to the table and see it gets smushed and I think my hole for that one yep it's supposed to be I'll have to remake my hole. I think I had it in there. Anyway, it's all cookie. That's why I'm saying whimsical. And look at this macaron. Macaroon. Where is the hole for it? Oh, well. And then this is supposed to be a pig right here, y'all. <laughs> And then look, this is an avocado, which on the white part, I'm gonna have to paint green once it's hard. But, you know, see how this one's bigger than that one and this one's eyes is bigger than this one's eyes? But it's the two halves, you know, one half has your, the, um, the seed in it and the other half don't, so. And then I made a mushroom. So, there's my mushroom. And see how big they look, you know? I have the hole for it in the top. The holes for the little avocados. Uh-oh, I took his eye away. See, I just made these. They're not dry yet. And I think this is all air-dry clay, so I don't have to put it in the oven to bake it or anything. See, the top of his head is not shaped right. Anyway, that's the best I could do. I like them. 
good enough for me anyway. And I just wanted to share them with y'all. This brings us to the end of this vlog. So I'm going to let y'all go and say bye. And get the next vlog uh, started. And we'll see y'all in the next vlog. Toodaloo!